All right, guys, welcome back or welcome to Running For Views. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. So today we are going to be doing Killian the Goat Jordan's favorite workout, hill bounding. So what this workout does is number one, build aerobic capacity. Two, increase fast twitch muscle fibers. And three, improve running economy. So without further ado, let's get into the workout. All right guys, so really quick before we get into the workout, just wanted to hop on here and say that I got this workout from the book, The Uphill Athlete, co-written of course by Killian Jornet. And so if you guys wanna learn more about this book, I'll leave it in the description so you guys can check it out. Also guys, he put this workout on his Instagram. So that just shows how much he really likes this workout. He said it's one of his favorite workouts and that it helps him a lot when it comes to hills. So make sure that you guys are doing this workout and that you incorporate it into your weekly training and it will really help you guys out. All right, now back to the video. All right guys, so to start the workout off, you do a 20 minute warm up. So you're gonna wanna keep this warm up basically all in zone one and two in a five zone model and then gradually increase into zone three for the last couple minutes of the warm-up all right guys so we're just now finishing up the warm-up so now i'm working my way up into zone three for these last couple minutes of the warm-up just really getting those muscles firing so that we don't get injured out here. So now that the warm up is done, we are gonna be doing 10 minutes of stretching. So I'm just gonna demonstrate to you what the basic stretches are, and then you'll just do those for the duration of the 10 minutes. All right guys, so for the first stretch, you're just gonna be bouncing up and down on your toes, just getting those muscles firing. So you're gonna do this just for a minute or two, you can bounce back and forth. All right, so next stretch you're gonna do is just lunges. So you're gonna just lunge forward like this. Just alternate legs. Get those legs burning. So then you'll do this for about a minute or two. You could also do some side lunges like this. Just whatever you would like to do. All right guys, so next we're gonna be doing leg swings. So you're just gonna be swinging your legs back and forth like this. So you're just gonna wanna do both legs forward and then again to the side. So swing them out like that. It also helps if you don't have good balance just to hold on to something. All right guys, so then the last stretch we have is ballistic toe touches. So that's just when you go like this, you go down to touch your toes and then you just work on getting lower and lower as you go like that. All right guys, so you're gonna do all of these stretches. You could do them multiple times just as long as you get to the 10 minutes of full stretching. All right guys, and now we are going up to the hill to do hill repeats. So for the hill, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get at least a 30% grade. So you're gonna wanna just basically find the steepest hill you could possibly find. And just that's where you're gonna do your hill repeats and hill bounding. I'll show you on Strava how to make sure that the hill that you're doing is around 30%. You can search segments. And then from there, you can find a hill that's close to 30%. Um, so yeah, basically it's just gonna be the steepest hill anywhere you can find. And if there's no hills, then you could do it on a set of stairs or just whatever steep thing you could find, a treadmill, whatever works for you. All right guys, so now we are continuing with the warm up, and we are gonna be doing two 20 second hill repeats at hard to medium effort. All right, so let's get into it. Twenty seconds done. So first rep is done. All right, guys. So after you're done with the rep, you're gonna start your timer for one to two minutes for rest. Go back to the bottom, wait one to two minutes, then back up for another one. All right. So here we go for rep number two. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, rep number two is in the books. So now we are walking down, doing our one to two minute rest. And then we are starting on the next part of our warm up. So remember all of this is just to get the muscles firing, get those fast twitch fibers going and to get some anaerobic workout in. We are going to take another one to two minute break. All right guys, so we just finished our two reps as warm ups, just as hill sprinting or running. Now we are gonna move on to hill skipping. So this is still in the warm up, so you're not gonna to wanna to do these at full speed as hard as you can. So remember, we're still saving up for that last hill bounding exercise where we're just gonna be pushing ourselves as hard as we can. All right guys, so for these next reps, we're gonna be doing two hill skippings for 20 seconds each. So we're gonna be skipping up the mountain for 20 seconds at a medium to hard effort again. All right, so let's get into it. Hill skipping, first rep done. All right guys, so now we got a one to two minute rest after hill skipping. So I'm just gonna walk back down to the start. All right guys, so that was the two reps of hill skipping, walking back down, taking my one to two minute break. And then we're done with the warm up. We're getting into the workout, hill bounding, let's go. All right guys, so now it is time to start hill bounding. So for these, you're just gonna wanna get as much air as you could possibly generate and just cover the most distance as you possibly can. All right, so here we go, rep number one. Let's go. Set a timer for 10 seconds. All right. And then as you're coming down, you just wanna get your one to two minute rest and then do it again six to eight times. All right guys, so just finished hill bounding, did my six to eight reps, and now we are going down to the flat to do a cool down. So it's gonna be another 20 minute cool down, and so let's get down there, finish this workout off right. All right guys, so just got back to flat ground, so we're just gonna do a quick 20 minute cool down in zone one, so let's do it. All right, so here we are on the cool down. So what'd you guys think of the workout? Did you think that hill bounding lived up to the hype? Let me know in the comments below if you think that hill bounding will be your next favorite workout. All right guys, so we are finishing up the 20 minute cool down in zone one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Remember, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button and Make sure to subscribe so you can see whenever new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.